They're off. And over on the inside stage door, George beat them out, going away smartly too. In second placing is High Era, and they're followed a length and a half further back then by stage door, George over on the fence. Call that a little wide there is Shamrock Kate, but it is going forward around the outside. It's a line of three. Shamrock Kate's gone around the outside to poke his nose in front here. In the centre there is High Era, length away stage door, George back on the fence, giving a couple of slaps with a whip. They're followed further back in the field by Primitive Boy, and Big Lou is back at the rear. This has taken off out in front Shamrock Kate and it said Tata. It raced about four or five lengths in front. In second placing High Era back on the fence and Big Lou is gaining ground around them. They're followed further back then by Stage Door George given a caning and last of all in the field there when they turn for home is uh, when they turn for home High Era the leader over on the inside is Shamrock Kate High Era joining in quickly out wide Stage Door George on the rail. High Era's hit the front and High Era's coming away for a big win in the first. High Era scores by two and a half make it three lengths on the post. Stage door George got second. A length away third then is Shamrock Kate then Big Lou and Primitive Boy was last home. Standby for numbers here on the first race on the card and high era number five has been too smart for them here. It joined in quickly at the top of the straight and uh, quickly rounded them up after uh, Shamrock Kate had kicked around the corner with a good lead over stage door. George, who was sticking to the fence, but High Era quickly loomed up and uh, put pay to them in a total. For the, uh, no, almost locked away. Holiday Fair, still not quite right. And the attendant's trying to push him in, and he goes. 1,200 the journey here, Peninsula Timber Maiden. Pawnee Warrior, the only scratching here. Ready to break, starter on the stand. Ready. They're racing. Jumped in a fair line too and beating them all out was Stormy Exit. It hit the ground running and driving through along the inside is Sovereign Amigo going up towards the leaders in the early stages and they're followed in between runners there by Al Digby up towards the lead. Uh, just off the pace there but uh, called a little wide there is uh, Holiday Fair. They're followed further back in the field then by around the outside but getting a fair way back is uh, Kunai and they're followed well back in the race then by uh, uh, dropping right out towards the rear now is uh, Kunai with also David's King as they race down the side of the course now and over on the inside it's Sovereign Amigo. Sovereign Amigo just in front here. Quickly joined by the grey Ideal Crystal and they kick away about three lengths in front now of Holiday Fair who's getting to third. They're followed further back then by Princess Esther Hazy on the outside running on fairly well. Well back in the race at this stage is out Digby and they're followed further back by Stormy Exit and Kunai has dropped out towards the rear as they turn for home now and this booted away Sovereign Amigo. It went for home and race four lengths clear. Down the outside Side. Princess the Hazy is the danger and battling on there is Holiday Fair the leader's got a good break though Sovereign Amigo cutting it down now on the outside is uh, Princess the Hazy Sovereign Amigo tackled by Princess the Hazy and Princess the Hazy gets up to score a half length on the line photo for the miners Sovereign Amigo or on the outside Holiday Fair they're followed further back in the field then by Kunai who made ground when it was all over uh, well back in the field then was uh, Stormy Exit who was one of the last to uh, tail in, in company with our Digby and Ideal Crystal. Stand by for numbers here and you'll find the winner will be number nine, Princess De Hazy has finished just too well on the outside to get up and win. Number nine on the outside up. ready to go light flashing off, jumped in a perfect line too and one of the first to hit the ground there out in the uh, middle of the track is Town Hall Clock, it's going to go over and lead driving up on the fence, La Spark they're followed further out on the track then by Loving Joy going around them, a two lengths further back then is Tor Worry back on the fence a carpet of lengths further back then is uh, Karamaya, they're followed further back then by King Crusher who's up on the inside rail, a couple of lengths further back in the field then is uh, Galactic Garrison who's dropping a fair way out of its ground at the moment, Damien is second last.
last and two lengths away. Last of all in the field is Sapphire Coast. Down by the 600 metre mark and Loving Joy is the leader on the outside. It drew a half length in front of Town Hall Clock who still has the fence. A length and a half further back and running up the third La Spark coming home well. A couple of lengths to the top weight Tour Worry about to hook around them and there followed a long gap in the field then. Two King Crusher and well back in the race at this stage is Karamaya. Followed then well back by Demi and dropping right out of it now and Sapphire Coast at the 200 metre mark in the straight. Loving Joy on the outside has moved up the Town Hall Clock and joining in is La Spark on the outside and here comes Tour Worry. Tour Worry on the outside finishing all over the top of them kicking back La Spark. Oh, I think it's kicked back to win. La Spark on the inside I think is kicked back and wanted a nose here to Tour Worry. You couldn't have had enough on it up the straight. On the outside there, King Crusher has run third. They're followed by Town Hall Clock and then Loving Joy. Well back in the race then was uh, Galactic Garrison. And then came for the back there, Karamia. And uh, well back also, Sapphire Coast, one of the last to tail in. But it's a photo here, only a bob of the heads in this. And Le Spark on the inside is kicked back on the rails here. Tour Worry quickly loomed up and looked like it was about to go straight past it, but it's Le Spark is kicked back gallantly on the fence here. And in a photo, Tor... Last one up here is uh, Pawnee Warrior. Ready to go here. First race from the 1600 metre shoot and they're away. One stood there and missed it there. It's right out the back and that is uh, Taunton has missed it by half a dozen. And one of the first there to uh, hit the ground on the inside was another spectre going up towards the lead. Zena's Knight and right around the outside Pawnee Warrior is going to take up the running. Just off the pace there is Orderly Aspect running about fourth. A length and a half further back then Pelor's on the fence. They're followed by occasionally yours around the outside of Munjong Laral. A half length further back then Stylish Life. They're followed further back by King Teddy well back in the race is Delgence and last of all is Taunton after missing the start they're climbing up the hill now with about 1000 metres left to go and the leader is Pawnee Warrior by a couple of lengths and showing them a clean pair of plates in second placing there and uh, uh, going up on the inside there is another spectre, they're followed further back then by Orderly Aspect over on the outside, uh, they came about two lengths further back in the field then over on the inside is a Pelor Sun a half the outside occasionally you and they're followed further back then by Munjong the fence. Well back in the race at this stage on the outside is uh, Delgent and they're followed by Stylish Life and last of all in the field is uh, Taunton. The leader over on the inside here and doing it well Pawnee Warrior a couple of lengths in front here of uh, back on the fence there another spectre is battling on right around the outside occasionally yours is making a big run around them there and they're followed further back by Orderly Aspect into the straight and occasionally yours out wide took the lead at 200 metres to go Battling on on the inside is Pawnee Warrior and down the outside another Spectre and then Stylish Life but this is all over Red Rover occasionally yours is booted clear and down to the post occasionally yours scores by two and a half lengths second Stylish Life a length and a half away third was uh, another Spectre and they're followed then by occasionally yours who pulled up a uh, rather uh, orderly aspect who pulled up quickly and they're followed well back in the race then by uh, Pawnee Warrior who was a long way down the track well back in the field then was Taunton followed then by Zena's Knight a long way down the track uh, Pelor Sun one of the last time with Munjong occasionally yours first number 11 has won very easily in the run of the judge young Carlisle stands well on the inside of a Rama dancer builder at work superb discovery our light's gone off here Lights on again, now they're off. And down on the inside, Young Carlo, one of the first to break the line and going away smartly. Builder at work's going to cross and lead a couple of lengths in front now of Young Carlo. Two and a half then to a Rama Dancer. A half length further back then is Top Trump on the outside and a length and a half to superb discovery last of all. Well spread out here as they work up the hill and uh, here with about 1,400 to go. The leader on the inside is Builder at work, a half a length clear here. Of uh, moving up on the outside now is uh, young Carla who's running second and have got away. About six lengths in front of a Rama dancer on the inside of Top Trump and about two lengths away last of all is Superb Discovery. 
thousand metres to go and build it work at a leisurely, leisurely pace in front, doing it nicely, a couple of lengths in front. In second placing is young Carlisle with his head on his chest and about two and a half lengths away, a Rama Dancer. It's on the inside of Top Trump and two lengths away, last of all, is Superb Discovery. Down the side now with about 650 metres left to go and the leader on the inside is Bill at work about three quarters in front. Young Carlisle sliding up a little bit closer, a couple of lengths away on the inside of Rama Dancer, they're followed by Top Trump and three wide at the rear starting to run his superb discovery. Starting to bunch up a little bit now nearing the bend with about 350 metres left to go and down on the inside the leader is Bill at work about a half a length in front of young Carlisle who's now slipping into full gear and out very wide on the track but running on well. Down the outside is superb discovery at the 150 metre mark. Young Carlisle moves up alongside Bill at work who fights back and they're followed for the back then by top trump. Young Carlisle the outside gets his head in front and he gets up Young Carlisle, a half length on the line, builder at work. Running on well to get third was Top Trump, and they're followed then by Superb Discovery, and last home was a Rama Dancer. Stand by here, and uh, no doubt about the winner, Young Carlisle on the outside. Just a little bit too good in the run of the judge for Builder at work, who fought back on the rails, but to Young Carlisle, doing just a little bit too good has uh, got the money here, num no doubt here. Number number three will get the prize. Three, one, Over Builder at work and Top Trump to get third here. Run for last one coming up now on the gout side, it's Mamunia. Just about set to go here. Lights on for the Balnaring Cup to the judge in one circuit, 2,000 metres. Away they go. And uh, one missed the kick there, speed linked by a couple of links. And uh, here, one of the first out was Gatemaster and going very fast. Star Scout over on the outside is going to go and cross at the winning post the first time. It's Star Scout just in front. Speed limit going around the outside now to take it on. And they're followed going up there uh, towards the lead is Nantia now, who's whipping around the outside. Gatemaster drops back on the rails now. And they're followed by Warm feeling is going up now to be about third. Two lengths further back in the field then is uh, uh, over on the inside, Jern Gellilet, a half length further back, the outside is Star Scout. There are a couple of lengths in front now of down on the inside there and getting a fair way back is where Naira and they're followed well back in the race now by a speed link who's second last and last of all is Stentori in the top way, 1200 metres left to go and speed limit has broken the speed limit down the back of the course. He's raced six lengths in front in second placing on the inside is Warm Feeling, about four lengths away, Star Scout. Where's Nyora going around the outside of it at the 1,000 metre mark? A half length further back then, where's Nyora? They're followed by Nantia. Then came Star Scout, followed by Yen Galalad. Speed Link is second last in Stentorian, back on the fence, last of all, 700 metres left to go. And the leader is Speed Limit. Speed Limit still leads by about six lengths now. Uh, in second placing now, set sailing after it, there is where's Nyora? at the 600 metre mark, about four lengths further back then, and under a bit of pressure is Nantia, followed further back then by Star Scout who's making ground around the outside uh, here comes one right around him at Speed Link who's starting a big run right around the field, and they're followed further back in the field then, by the head of the rest, Speed Limit who's getting a little bit tired, now it's going backwards now, Speed Limit it's in reverse, into the straight now 250 metres left to go and hitting the front now, Nantia's gone to the lead, on the outside is Speed Link. Speed Link's the danger. It's moved up now and then game for the back gate master. But Speed Link has raced clear now at 50 to go. And it's Speed Link for the Balnaren Cup. It wins it a length and a half. Second none to yard. Third on the outside gate master. And then Yern Galilad fourth. Well back in the field then pulling up quickly was Where's Nyora. Then came for the back was Star Scout. On the outside was Stentorian. And there followed a long way back then by Mamunia, who was a long way down the track. Then came Speed Limit, who fell in a hole, and one of the last time was Warm Feeling. When you're ready, Charlie. This thing and this thing have the same name, but at least they've got the same colours. Right. Goes up alongside uh, Just a Mo, whistling kite standing nicely, with uh, Boulevard Affair standing up quite well. Convince next door to it is a pink bouquet. Classic Lil lights on. Ready to go here. Lucky date throwing his head around a little bit now. He's let them go. 
jumped away in a fair line two with Rule the Wind, uh, one of the first to break the line. And down towards the inside there is uh, Arkadelt, who's going very quickly up towards the lead. Arkadelt on the inside and out wider on the track now, Just a Mo. Pushing up in between runners is uh, Whistling Kite as they leave the straight. And they're followed for the back by Lucky Date in between runners around the outside Boulevard Affair. They're followed by World Class, who's trapped off the track at this stage. Followed then by Pink Bouquet, who's back on the inside of runners now. Uh, well back in the race, going back to second last now on the inside is Classic Lil and around the outside is Just a Mo last of all. Settling fully into stride now and the leader here as they're about to uh, work into the back of the course here over on the inside is uh, Just a Mo has gone over the lead. Just a Mo a couple of lengths in front. Rule the Wind is running second and a length and a half away third on the outside there is Whistling Kite and they're followed further back then on the rails by Arkadelt. A half length further back then Lucky Date who's uh, making ground around the outside. They're followed further back by Boulevard Affair who's starting to make ground in world class. Uh, half a length further back Back. Then over on the inside is Pink Bouquet. It's uh, getting a fair way back in the race, followed by Convinced Second Last in Classic. Lil's got a lot of work to do. He's two lengths away at the tail, about 15 off the lead. About 7.50 metres left to go. And around the outside, Rule the Wind on the outside has now hit the front. Rule the Wind now crosses and led by about a half length now. Going up on the outside is World Class. Uh, going backwards now is Just a Mo, and it's hit a brick wall. They're followed further back in the field then by Arkadil on the fence, who's starting to make up some ground and uh, well back in the race at this stage Lucky Date going forward, her bold in between runners is running on fairly well now and they're followed well back in the race then by the uh, head of the rest there is convinced as they near the turn now 250 metres left to go and world class has slipped into full gear and race clear it's two lengths in front now in second placing is Arkadelt who's battling away and they're followed for the back of bold, halfway up the straight though and this has got it well won world class, world class races away to win it by three lengths, second arc Adelt, two lengths away, third Whistling Kate. Then came Herbold, followed by Pink uh, Bouquet. Well back convinced uh, who was about midfield. And they're followed then by Boulevard Affair. Well back in the field, pulling out quickly was Lucky Date. And uh, one of the last turn then was Rule the Wind. And they're followed well back in the field by Classic Lil. And uh, was one of the last two tail in there, Classic uh, Lil. Pink Bouquet, well back also. After the last event...